Hey, good afternoon. Hi, my name is Jeff Hutzel. I'm the Chief Cloud Officer at Automax. And I'm also your host for Tech Talk. So Tech Talk is a show where we talk about new emerging technologies. We talk about the companies behind it. And we talk about some of the exciting people that are involved in that movement. So today we are very lucky and very excited to have uh, Johannes Ulrich. So Johannes is the Dean of Research at the SANS Technical Institute. So Johannes, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, absolutely. So. So very excited to have you. So for those viewers that may not be familiar, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the Science Technical Institute. Yeah, so the Science Technology Institute, we are an uh, accredited uh, graduate school. We are uh, offering degrees in uh, security engineering. And uh, what we really do is uh, we focus on trying to teach uh, current skills uh, to professionals that have to secure enterprise networks. And as part of this, uh, I'm sort of responsible for the research, as my title implies, as uh, Dean of Research. And we run something called the Internet Storm Center, which is really this collaborative uh, information security sharing community where we have uh, people worldwide really sort of contributing and helping us figure out what are the threats that actually matter right now and uh, how to defend against them. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I can imagine you're in really a unique field. I mean, one, obviously it's, it's in the news all the time now that the field of cybersecurity is something where there's, there's hundreds of thousands of unfilled jobs right now. People are looking for more and more talent. Uh, and it's really not something you could have learned five years ago or 10 years ago and, and be an expert today, right? Kind of as you mentioned, it's a day-to-day -day thing. You're constantly in research mode. Um, what does that look like today? Just the state of cybersecurity and the pace of change, the pace of those threats. Yeah. How do you deal with that? There are really sort of you know, two competing forces here at work. In one way, uh, businesses are relying more and more on data. So data quality, the availability of data uh, is really becoming more important. Even businesses like you know, grocery stores or such uh, that really are at their core uh, IT businesses these days. But on the other hand, we have more and more threats against uh, these the data uh, availability. Like you know, recently, of course, we have a lot of problems with ransomware. Uh, but, you know, I would even consider things like the fake news problem. And so being part of this, uh, you having more and more data available with social networks, but how trustworthy is that data? And uh, you know, the same problem that businesses face, sort of considering the trustworthiness of the data they're basing business decisions on, is also your problem trying uh, to sort of, you know, make this into a daily life based on this information. What's trustworthy, what's manipulated, and how do you really uh, ensure the integrity of all that data? Yeah, I think that's difficult, right? I mean, you see even you know from basic consumer apps like the Face, uh, face app, you see everybody wants to make themselves look old, yeah. and there's a desire to do something funny, but then you find out, hey, this is a Russian-developed app, and there may be some concerns with that. Or you know, yesterday mm -hmm. in the news, there was a $5 billion fine that Facebook got levied against them from the FTC. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely that balance of yeah. There's a lot of exciting and fun things you can do in technology, but but you have to be you have to be vigilant about protecting yourself and just being aware of those solutions. Um, how, how do you look at that going forward in the future? I mean, there's a lot of great things we're talking about doing now with AI, you know, with IoT on the forefront yep. as well. There's you know billions of connected devices. How do we how do we address those things and take advantage of the promises that those things hold, but also protect ourselves and our companies and our enterprise environments? I think a good part of this, of course, is that uh, skill shortage that you mentioned. And of course, the company I work uh, for is working on this. But in addition, AI does hold some promise at least uh, to help with that, uh, to at least sort of act as a filter uh, to sort of take the more mundane jobs in security away from uh, people and really, you know, uh, make them easier to comply with. In general, I think it's all about, you know, keeping things simple, keeping things easy. A lot of uh, businesses right now, uh, they're uh, probably running into some of these technologies a little bit haphazard and, and too fast and not really considering all the complexities they're adding to their networks by, for example, you know, adding a adding cloud, adding AI uh, sure. to their businesses without necessarily having sort of a real uh, thought through business proposition on why they're actually doing that. Sure, and I think educating their team as well, right? So we're obviously talking about a lot of the technical aspects yeah. of it, but there's still the human aspect of, should I click on this? Should I download this? You know, can I go to yeah. this site? You know, definitely is in play there as well. So I know you're, I know yeah, you're passionate much, about uh, Go ahead, I'm sorry. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, pretty much the number one threat right now is that one user network clicking on attachment, opening it and, you know, causing millions of dollars of damage. We have seen this over and over uh, with like these recent uh, ransomware infections and such. So really, in the end, it comes down to people. Sure. And I think a lot of businesses assume, well, it's only big, it's only Hilton, it's only Yahoo that gets, you know, attacked in these things. But I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of what, 50% of, of small businesses are part of those attacks today? Yeah, and uh, they're, they're making the news, the big ones, uh, but uh, I just uh, learned actually about some law firm here in town in Jacksonville uh, that had like, you know, ransomware infections. Uh, it's um, it's really uh, not easy to defend against them, particularly for the small businesses, of course, because they don't have the manpower uh, to sort of invest into actually securing their systems on an ongoing basis and really keeping up with this. And that's sort of where we try to help a little bit here within that storm center in making that information available, uh, making it a little bit easier, hopefully, for people to sort of stay up to date when it comes to their most recent security threats and how to defend against them. Yeah, that's exciting stuff. I mean, it's a, certainly a fast-paced industry. It's an extremely important and valuable industry. You can mm -hmm. see from the number of opportunities that are out there today. So uh, we're looking forward to hearing more from you. And obviously, coming up on August 21st, the TIA Bank uh, stadium, you'll be uh, speaking right, right, tech at the conference? Tech Coast yeah. Conference. Yeah, at the Tech Coast Conference. And I'll talk a little bit about Internet Storm Center, what we're doing, and uh, also what some of the trends are that we are seeing. Uh, and it's important to keep an eye on, like I said, you know, what are actually the, the big threats that you have to focus on. So you're not wasting a lot of uh, time and money on threats that uh, maybe hype somewhat, uh, that uh, aren't in use a lot, but not necessarily the threats that you uh, really have to worry about that are most likely going to harm you. Uh, that's great. Well, I know we're excited to learn and hear more about you. I'll be in attendance for, the, uh, for your speech out there at the Tech Coast Conference. Thanks. Uh, where else can folks find you? I know you have a podcast as well. Yeah, uh, the website, uh, isc.sans.edu, that's uh, for the published sort of daily news. And uh, you'll also be able to find my podcast there. The podcast is sort of a five-minute summary of daily security news, particularly targeting people that are sort of in the business that have to sort of uh, defend against those uh, threats on a daily basis. And my goal is sort of to make people a little bit smarter when they come in the office in the morning. Uh, that's, great. that's great. That's great. Well, Johannes, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Like I said, we're looking forward to your speech at the Tech Coast Conference and uh, looking forward to more exciting stuff from you here in the future. Okay, thanks. All right. Have a great day. And thank you guys for joining us here on Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.